Honestly, like we have to get comfortable for as you can see we're very we're comfortable. We're relaxed, we need to get really comfortable because as you might see it's a little bit of a long video because we have so much like so much to tell you guys about yeah. what's happened to us, yeah. why why we've been away, it's just been mad. Yeah, it feels so good to be back guys. Mm -hmm. like, we're so mm -hmm. happy we missed you guys so so much. Oh. Like honestly, it's been so hard not being able to create our um, content. Yeah. But yeah, now we're Ready. ready to go but most importantly guys happy new year yes it's a new year 2022 thank god we actually got here like trust me it's actually crazy how we last spoke to you guys last year and not just like oh yeah december no no we like three four months ago we haven't, yeah it's, it's been too long it has been a long time but guys honestly we have reasons gonna get into it and after this you'll be like okay i understand I understand. <laughs> Without further ado, let's just get into it because yeah. we have a lot to get through. Guys, we have my phone here because we literally have a lot of notes. We have notes to get through because yeah. when we actually did how much happened, we had to actually tell this properly. Like, yeah, this nothing this... can be missed out mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. So basically, let's go back to when we had our last life update. Yeah. Um, not 2021, 2020 year. Yeah, yeah, yeah 2020. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously, you guys know that I dropped out of the LPC. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like when I dropped out the LPC, like, I just it was obviously too much for me i didn't yeah. want to do it i just felt like my passion for law had just disappeared yeah. the lpc was the legal practice course yeah so i dropped out of that and then obviously when i did that guys there was legit no backup plan like mm. i had no idea what i wanted to do next yeah. i knew that i enjoyed law but i just wasn't enjoying this part so i was like what am i actually gonna do i had to find a job i was still in the middle of a pandemic so it's like what am I actually gonna do? Please, yeah. we've literally just moved. We've gone to a whole, we've come to a whole Manchester. Oh, There's like a whole lot of responsibilities now, and it's like, what am I actually gonna do? See, I knew that I needed to get a job. Like, regardless of my LPC, I was gonna get a job, but I had like a bit more time basically to find a job, especially since there was barely any jobs going. Yeah. So I had like room to wait until I actually found a job. Yeah. Like financially. Yeah. When I dropped out, I was like, okay. You need to get this job yesterday, like Literally. you need to. Like, <laughs> and I actually did get a job quite quickly, which I thank God for. But obviously, it wasn't what I wanted. Like that's like I didn't need really to like be doing what I was doing. Yeah. But it was still bringing money into my account, so it had yeah. to be done in it. Yeah. And yeah, it was doing what needed to be done. But I just knew that I can't stay here. Like I don't like this. Like I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I don't want to do this. During this time, I was trying to make ends meet, like mm -hmm. as in. It was just about okay as long as bills are paid it doesn't matter like as long as your bills are paid mm -hmm. you're gonna have to manage this job until the next one comes like because yeah. the way i am here yeah, i hate being in a, in a rubbish situation like i yeah. hate it i'll just be like i'll rather get out of this heads when i dropped out like yeah. i did i couldn't just ride it through because mm. i do hate not finishing what i started yeah, yeah, yeah. but if it's literally like mental health everything is just getting it messed up because of it then i have to be out yeah but i can't just like go through that mm -hmm. so yeah so now this job i was thinking part of me just wanted to quit honestly but i was thinking okay you quit and then what yeah i moved to manchester you're not in your mom's house anymore so what are you gonna do so then now while i'm going through this babe <laughs> and the funniest thing about this whole thing guys like the recap of our year which was so difficult and, and which like kind of forced us away it's actually mad how we literally went through this like side by side like simultaneously yeah you're literally you're literally gonna see how so much what happened to Anne, what so much happened to me what's happening side by side one after the other yeah but as Anne said during all of that like what she was going through there i was going for my own mahala mm -hmm. i come into manchester um, I, I'm, I'm i was doing a master and obviously she's doing the lpc but with me with my masters as well um I've been I was given student finance, but the way it works for mine is when I get my student finance payment, I have to pay for my uni as well. I literally pay for like my actual degree. So obviously I get money left over, but they will know any enough for yeah, rent. Yeah. Like yeah. it was not enough to pay rent like consistently. 
So obviously I need a job, but I knew this. I completely understood that coming here, I knew I need to get a job. You was applying for jobs in Manchester before you even got this place. Literally, like from early. Um, so as I arrived here, obviously I didn't get a job straight away. It took quite a while, but then in October, um, a job finally reached out to me, and I had the interview. And in that same day, they gave me the offer. And obviously that that was one like it was like a breakthrough moment for us. We came like, oh, rah, like yeah. same day. Got yeah. the job, like it felt like cool. I have security now, everything was ready. The mood started to shift because for the job, I had to do a lot of things like um, security checks and all that, which was understood. But it felt like it started to drag out, but it dragged to the point where it's like, okay, cool. Like I have the money I had left over from student finance, I've just paid rent. But now the next rent I need to pay, I need to work to pay that. So yeah. like, when when is this done? Because I'm yeah. waiting a good while now, like I need to kind of start paying rent. Like, I'll, I'll start to like email the people that, that corresponded with me they start to reply stuff like oh we're looking to confirm your start date for end of december january i was thinking end of december january it's for, october literally I, I literally got the role in october you're telling me two months time three months time i'm starting i'm thinking bear in mind there's no notice it's not like he's working right now like mm -hmm. he, he's ready to work i mean I'm, I'm ready to go i'm ready to go <laughs> especially now i um, left the lpc so she now needs to work and i now need to work which yeah. means i need to start working <laughs> yeah. like like income needs to start entering this place like exactly <laughs> <Yeah, ASAP. laughs> So obviously, I just thought, cool, it's, it's getting out of the Christmas period. Let me start looking, looking for temp jobs. So I was able to get a temp job throughout December. And the way the other job that I got before was moving, like I was starting to feel a bit iffy with them in terms of like, I, I, even if they came back to me, I wasn't even sure if I wanted them because it was just, it was too weird. Like it was even a fixed term contract. So I was even thinking they, they, that they might push the start rate back more. It was all of those sorts of things. I was just kind of hoping that, Cool, this temp job if they offer me um, like a full-time contract i'm staying that sort of thing mm -hmm. the biggest thing as well that job i got in october because they literally gave an offer i stopped applying for jobs yeah like why are you applying for jobs when you got an offer literally like so if they kind of like put me almost like st more steps back from where i started yeah so i'm just thinking like bro like i don't really have a lot of choice like i need to kind of really get myself back into the employment market yeah so this temp job please like if you need somebody full-time i'm your guy yeah that sort of thing so i was working yeah. there so everything was good and one of the managers actually came to me and said that the head office said that they can keep some some of the like temp staff on full time and he said he'll pick me and i was obviously like cool like I, I, cool like i've got sign like like if this place don't get back to me i've got this yeah. that sort of thing <laughs> Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson. That end of December, Mr. Boris announced Tier 4. What did Tier 4 do? Mm -hmm. Tier 4 basically locked down London, like all the ma major, major cities. Mm -hmm. Basically, mean that like retail stores, food stores, all that closed. And because of that, I didn't get the offer anymore. The offer was taken off the table, meaning that I lost that temp job opportunity. Yeah, because now it's like they're about to furlough their permanent staff. Yeah. So why are they gonna add someone temp to Damn. now add more funding again to make them permanent? Might re reduce the people. Yeah. So yeah, so that was out. That was out. So I literally lost that opportunity, as well as this job again, as I suspected. Start date pushed back and back and back all the way to to middle of the year. So I was just thinking like again, yeah, like like I was so over it. I needed to find a job, but my energy was so gone because I was applying for six seven months now, like from last summer. So me now, whilst Anne was struggling, not liking her job that she's in, me can't even find a job. <laughs> so then now while this is all going on, obviously now we're both like applying for jobs. I came across a really good job. Yeah. Like I was so happy that. It ticked the boxes, it incorporated my degree, it was making a lot of sense, like yeah. I was ticking all the boxes, like yeah. obviously I had certain goals or like not goals but requirements for a job obviously yeah, yeah. after being a recent graduate. So I had like my salary expectations, my um like distance from my house, <laughs> or whatever, like little yeah, little yeah, things yeah. like this that I had and even like the industry. So I wanted to enter compliance. Yeah. So this was literally perfect. Like you could like, you could literally couldn't name a better role. Or, yeah. and, or and organization. And organization, yeah. yeah. So it just made so much sense. So yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, like this is perfect. Yeah. So I'm there, you know, you see the job ad, you go to automatically look at what they require of me yeah. to have. I'm thinking, yeah, this is a job, like, it sounds too good. I bet, I bet I'm going to be missing something that they need. Yeah. You'll hear like 
10 years experience <laughs> after I just graduated like yesterday. <laughs> so yeah, so then I see it and it's like, and I'm looking like, I'm like, babe, like, I can actually do this. Like, all these things, I'm ticking like, okay, I've got that, I've got experience. Like, like I can do this. Mm -hmm. So he was just like, yeah, apply for it. I was like, cool. I applied for it. And then it was a long application, like mm -hmm. literally three stages, then interview. Yeah. And it's like all the tests that you have to do, you have to obviously like pass the first test in order to like unlock the next test and pass yeah. that, then unlock the third one. Mm -hmm. Then you're now at a stage yeah. where you can be interviewed and then yeah. you obviously get the job. Mm -hmm. So now I'm thinking, damn, like this is going to be hard, but let me just try it. So I did that, blah, blah, blah. So then now I basically passed all the tests. So I'm thinking, damn, like I can actually get into you soon. I even kind of forgot about it because you know yeah. when you're applying for jobs, like, for as much as I really wanted that job, I also felt like, okay, time is, I can't wait. Like, yeah. I'm still going to be applying for yeah. jobs, obviously. And if something better comes or just anything comes in, at least I can leave my current working from home job I was doing at the time. Yeah. One day I just got an email, like an update. And when you when I see like the email, like application update, I'm thinking, oh, like, what's this about? <laughs> I'm very excited to go see like my interview day. Why am I getting an email basically saying like, congratulations for past your test type of thing, but unfortunately, mm -hmm we've had to increase the pass mark for the tests. So obviously for the test, there's obviously a pass mark for you to pass the test. So they increased it because there was so much demand for that role. I said, huh? I literally uh, was like, that, that was painful. I was speaking, you basically passed, but they said, yeah, you passed, but actually, we want to move up higher so yeah, so, so you're not good enough here. Like, yeah, like, bearing in mind, like guys, those three tests, I saw them, they were hard. So imagine you did all of that past and they said actually mm, we're gonna raise it higher. Sorry. Yeah. Bye. I was so upset, like, I was like, wow. Because I basically did everything, I was that close to an interview, yeah, and it just like passed me by I was looking down. But anyway, obviously you just continue just like anyway, it's what it is. Like yeah, I just yeah. had to like brush it off and just like I wasn't very upset, mm -hmm. but it was just like we move like yeah. at least I do have a job. Because within all of this, I was mm -hmm. still happy that at least I have a job. Yeah, so obviously now that situation happened and I was just back to applying for jobs again. Like obviously yeah. I never stopped, but yeah, I just had to think that okay, that's not coming anymore. So let me yeah. just continue yeah. looking. And obviously Chem is still looking for jobs as well. Yeah. Lockdown happened in December. Mm -hmm. So the next two to three months i'm unemployed just yeah. looking 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 whilst also doing my uni work like, yes guys like we need to emphasize that everything you hear yeah Shem is a full-time master student. I'm, I'm still going i'm still full-time doing my my master's work whilst applying for jobs unemployed like, stressing the mental stress of masters like, pandemic again he just graduated during pandemic again and then you're still trying to find a job like deep it guys like I'm just thinking rent has to be paid, rent has to be paid. I'm thinking, yeah. wait, no, do this assignment, do this. Like, I'm going, I'm just jumping back and forth. Yeah. Like, if he wasn't on his on Word or Google typing an essay, he was on applying for jobs. Yeah, it was between those two tabs. Yeah. That like, was it. I got a job in March, but Anne found me that job and I applied for it. And I and the interview was quite good and I got it. But, like, deep it, guys, that whole month period, like, that, that Valentine's we did, like, I was going through stress, like, I was mm. literally applying for jobs, trying to do everything, like, like, I, me being able to do that is just a blessing because it wasn't even, like, any, like, it didn't even cost that like, much money like that. But realistically, like, during that whole period, it was really hard for both of us. Yeah, it was, like, and that's why I appreciated Valentine's Day, so, because I see, I am a crap baby, <laughs> but I was so emotional then, because it's like, knowing everything that we were going through, and yeah. he still went out of it, because I literally told you, Valentine, we're chilling, we are chilling, we'll eat rice, <laughs> and we are chilling, we're not doing anything, because obviously we couldn't go out anyway, and I just felt like, please, like, there's no time to, we're already thinking about so much, like, it's fine, like, I know what the love is, type of thing, like. <laughs> I was never gonna not allow us to have a good Valentine. Yeah, I know, that's the thing, like, he would never have allowed that, but, yeah, like, I didn't want him to have added pressure of, like, trying to make something special for us, because I already knew how much stress he was going through. But, yeah, so, I got this job now, and it was another fixed-term contract, and, and fixed term contracts was basically all you could really see especially during the peak of the pandemic the peak of lockdown because yeah. a lot of companies don't know like the longevity of lockdowns and mm -hmm. business all those sorts of things so fixed term contracts i didn't want to have to do but i had to do yeah, yeah, yeah. so i didn't have a lot of choice i just i said cool let me come yeah. on and i did it so i'm in a job now and I, and I quite liked it there to be fair i'm just literally going to work come back uni go to work come back uni mm -hmm. like that sort of thing mm -hmm. and but during all of that now and then finds a new opportunity in a new job. Yeah, so now I actually found a role. It was actually in a law firm, which 
was. <laughs> <laughs> I studied law, dropped out of law mm -hmm. to go work in a law firm. No, that, that, you have to run it doesn't away. make sense. Like, yeah, I yeah, dropped out funny. of my legal practice course, mm -hmm. which would then allow me to become a solicitor, to mm -hmm. go and work in a law firm, yeah. to now still go back in it. Literally, guys, so what happened? When I was applying for roles after I decided to drop out the LBC, I knew I didn't want to be a solicitor or nothing yeah. like that. So I wasn't applying for law law jobs. Like I wanted something with my degree, like compliance, yeah. but I didn't want full law because like yeah, yeah. what's the need like i don't want to feel triggered being around solicitors when i just decided i don't want to be a solicitor yeah, anymore and that makes sense like, like i completely get it obviously you got to a point where i knew that law firms would like take me on basically yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. my experience and stuff so i was thinking like i literally like i felt i didn't want to see any law jobs but yeah. it got to a point where i need to leave this current job i'm in yeah. so let me i just came across this one law firm Guys, tell me why they interviewed me the next day. Next I was day. like, oh. it was so like, it sounds so bad. It sounds really bad, but yeah. I was literally, it was bittersweet because it was obviously a higher paid job, mm -hmm. better job than mm -hmm. what I was at. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to be in a law firm. Yeah. I just didn't want to be in a law firm at all. Mm -hmm. So it was just like, oh. but I just said, you know what, for now, like, God, this is, if this is how you want it to work out, yeah. let me just, just guide yeah, me. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, so I basically got that job and then cool. So now I'm at that job, guys. Time is going that let's not even get into that, but yeah. I also did not did not like that job. Mm. So we got into so that job I came and then um basically one it was one day I was on lunch yeah. and I I was on the bridge chair and I'm on lunch and I get an email. So I'm thinking, what's this email? This email looks like the contents of the email was basically regarding my old interview at that yeah, role I yeah. really, really wanted. And it basically was inviting me to an interview. Mm -hmm. Oh my life, I told Chem this is fraud. Yeah. Like, what is Guys, this? Guys, no, no word of a lie. I, I, to be honest, I kind of believed it as well. Like, I may have also believed it was fraud. Yeah. But because when she sent it to me, the email just looked weird. Like, you know the emails were just be bare letters and that. Yeah. Like, you just think, oh, there's some anything. Some anything. scum email or something. Yeah. That's exactly what I thought. So I would see the email and it's literally inviting me to interview. I'm yeah. thinking, bro, like these people literally bumped up the school. They said I can't be interviewed. Like, yeah. this is not them. Like, and I'm about thinking, how would I get a scam email from a job? Like, what does it make sense? Literally. So we were very confused. Like, yeah. I literally basically ended it. I literally ignored the email and just said, oh, please, whatever that is, mm -hmm. let me just ignore it. Yeah, so then I basically ignored that email and I just left it. I literally yeah. went on like yeah. nothing. Then I think it was like two or three days later, I get the, another email from that same email address mm -hmm. and it's saying like, reminder email to book your interview slot. Yeah. Nah, I don't think someone will scam twice. Like. <laughs> These scammers are persistent. They want yeah. their they want their chop. They want they need the money that hard. Yeah, so I'm thinking that nah, I don't think this would be a scam email because like mm -hmm. you could get them odd emails that are telling you like I'll click here or whatever. Yeah. But why would it come again? Like mm -hmm. it's just one and done them type of emails. Yeah. So I thought no, let me just click on this link. Click to the link now, and it takes me to my um the job portal login place. Mm -hmm. And then, yes, I log in and then I see that, oh, wait, this is legit. Like, this is yeah. where I applied for my role. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I literally have to show I'm like, huh? Well, imagine if we just ignored it the second time again. They never came back. It literally said, like, if you don't uh, re respond to this, like, mm. if you don't book your interview slot, then your application will just be withdrawn. Damn. So I'm thinking, eh? all them tests I did as if I was in GCSE again, like, <laughs> what? Like, there's no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so basically it was a legit email. So that time when they told me that they had bumped on my mark, because I was so angry when I saw the email, I just stopped. After I saw that, okay, I'm not having an interview, I just stopped reading. Yeah. So if I continue reading a bit further, just a little bit more, a little bit little more, more, it still said that they'll still hold my like application, so mm. I could still be invited to interview at a later yeah. stage. Like they didn't completely throw out my application because mm. obviously I had still passed. It's just that the demand thing. So yeah. yeah, so they basically were still gonna reach out to me anyway, but I just didn't know about that. Yeah. So yeah, so then now I was trying to, I booked my interview slot and it was literally I booked it um the end of July, so like a couple weeks after or like a yeah. week or something after our anniversary. And yeah, so I was very, very happy, mm. so excited. Because guys, yeah. this is literally the role I really, really, really wanted, mm. like really wanted. Mm -hmm. So it was making so much sense and I was thinking, oh my gosh, like I finally got to the stage that back then in March when mm -hmm. they emailed me that, 
I now like have this opportunity. This was around June, yeah. so yeah, I booked it for July. So now, because I'm now again like, like I'm hope, hope, <laughs> like we're starting to feel like, oh yeah, like cool, like things are starting to change. Mm -hmm. Please, what changed? Even <laughs> so, guys, obviously, <laughs> as you know, I was on a fixed term contract, and uh, with fixed term, the usual, you either leave or they ask you to stay on, do full time. And my first time project three months was ended in May. I was trying to work well so that I can get the permanent role. Like they can give it to me. And they were, which was great. But this for some reason, again, the situation's completely changed. Like, and I didn't see it coming. So like Anne's out, I'm just at home doing uni work. I just see a call from my manager. And I'm thinking, okay, like she probably wants me to do a cover shift. Cool. I, I pick it up and guys, she literally says, Oh, sorry to tell you this, Chem, but Due to business, like uh, <laughs> due to the business finances or whatever, we've had to end all fixed term contracts like there and then. But the, bear in mind, mine hasn't ended yet. Mine did, has not ended. There's still weeks to yeah. go for his life. But they literally ended it there and then. Like, yeah. It was done, finished, finito, over. I'm thinking, hmm? huh? Bear in mind, not only I was looking forward to a permanent, I was still had some money to make. Money finished, money don't finish. Yeah. But done. done just like that and the thing yeah. is obviously like it was still fixed term so mm -hmm. he was still applying for jobs just in case he didn't get made permanent yeah but it was a situation where like i wasn't mentally prepared for that point yeah because this still wasn't the last day that he mm -hmm. should have that his contract should have ended yeah so yeah and i was literally just like that no notice nothing back nothing. to square one right, back to square one, one guy. oh my god Guys. I'm just getting PTSD telling the story. Ah, bear in mind, guys, this is around the May time, and this is a, this is my exam period, guys. So imagine now you're working, doing your assignments, revising your exams, get a phone call saying, "Oh yeah, the term, contract's been terminated, unfortunately." That's it. That's it. <sighs> really, bro. Really, I'm now back on my laptop, grinding, pushing, trying to find a job as like as soon as as soon as literally like obviously Anne's hope is really big but now like her big and now and i'm now coming low again it's just the, the literally imbalance. yeah me and chen this whole journey only till now we have literally been up and down yeah. one person was up one person was down one person yeah. was up one person was down it kept going like a seesaw okay. the whole year was literally like a seesaw we just had to one when one person look carry on one person up kept going like that literally guys yeah, literally so unfortunately again i was back unemployed during all of that, yeah. like, it was just a really hard time, I'm not gonna lie, it was just a really hard time. But luckily, literally a month later, I was, obviously I still applied for jobs, I had to. A month later, I got another job, the interview, quite straightforward. And yes, I got another job in June, which kind of still did. It didn't obviously make me so secure, but it just gave me that, oh cool, at least I have something type of vibe, you know what I'm trying to say? I finally kind of got back on my feet, and the interview came around. Yeah, and guys, they interview us, they're crying for guys. Tell me why I was not ready for my interview. I literally, I knew I had like a like just under a month to prepare for my interview, yeah. And I just don't know what happened. I just mentally was not in the right frame of mind mm -hmm. when it came to it. So, literally, like, I remember the night before, I was just like, oh my gosh, like, I was trying to prep for my interview. I was like, why am I struggling? Like, why am I not ready for this? So, yeah, so basically, it was just a situation where the day came. I had the interview and I was just like, yeah, you know, you just know, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. So the interview came and I was just like, I had the attitude of like, you know what, I'm obviously gonna go to the interview, yeah. and whatever happens, happens. Like, yeah. it just is what it is. Yeah. So yeah, so obviously, as I knew, like, I didn't pass the interview. So obviously, I was so upset about that, but at the same time, I was just like, okay, but this was definitely you. Like, I it was all yeah. in my control. Yeah. But obviously, like, guys, it was a hard year, and I think at that point, that's the point where I started like breaking a little bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not breaking yeah. like extreme, but started feeling like, damn, like we need a break. Yeah. Like, I always say breaking. Just started to feel like like the floor started to feel very shallow, and the cracks were starting to come. So you're yeah. finding it hard to really push through that. No, yeah, I think it. I felt a bit of pressure because, like, yeah. my own pressure because yeah. I knew that I wanted, like, if I got this job, I was thinking this would be pattern, like, yeah. perfect opportunity, like, it would be perfect for me to get into this industry. Yeah. And I was just thinking this would be, like, yeah, it's I had a lot of anxiety. Today. This was my first, like, big, big boy yeah. job interview. Yeah. So I was thinking, I'm, like, I'm so scared, like, it was just a lot. So I just, yeah, I just, <laughs> yeah, couldn't do it. So yeah. I found out, like, two to three weeks later that yeah i didn't pass the interview and i was just like yeah i knew it 
So now, like the following week when I found out mm. I didn't get the job, yeah, I obviously back applying for jobs again. So I'm now I come across a role that is the exact same role yeah. as the one I just flopped into be the same organization, everything, but higher salary. So I'm thinking, what? I'm thinking, really? what? This doesn't make sense. Like, does not make any sense. Yeah, I'm thinking, like, it's the exact same. It's not even like it's a higher grade, it's the exact same yeah. grade, everything. It's just the same role, like, exactly the same, just mm -hmm. higher salary. That's the only thing that would differentiate it from yeah. what I had applied for. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, okay, nah. so I showed Chem, like, what? And he's like, apply for it. Go for it. Literally. Like, there's literally no harm in getting it. Like, imagine if you do get it. Yeah, imagine if you do it, exactly. But yeah. I was thinking, okay, but what if I don't? Like, I literally just brought that interview. How am yeah. I going to go? And this is even a higher salary, yeah. so there's going to be more pressure. Yeah. So I'm thinking, yeah, let me know. So I literally, I think for like a day or two, I was like, nah. Yeah, she literally was saying, I'm not like, yeah. no point. <laughs> but then now, so I just flipped. I was like, you know what? Let, let me apply for it. And what made me apply for it again is because so obviously i had to do all them tests mm -hmm. so with them tests it was a thing where they save your score with your mm -hmm. test so you don't have to repeat the test every time you want to yeah. apply for another job so they as long as it's like the same grade or the same like role which it was so basically now i applied for it mm -hmm. and because i didn't have to go through doing tests again i was mm -hmm. like there's no harm like all i have to do is another interview if i do yeah. get to interview stage since my past mark for the test had already been passed, mm. I knew that that was guaranteed. So I was yeah. literally just trying to get an interview, just hoping mm. that there's no high demand, that they're not going to increase the score or nothing. No. So yeah, so it came now and I actually got an interview and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I, I actually have an interview, like, I, I could actually get this job. Mm -hmm. So obviously I had a different type of drive now because I was like, bro, I just get this job. This is the highest salary. I've already like had the interview basically, so I know what I'm looking for and I know what happened last time that just ruined my whole mindset. So I yeah. know that let me just get into the right frame of mind. Like I we were on it like literally trying to make sure that I was prepared. I prepared yeah. for ages. We were like, working hard, like, I can't lie, like we were treating like it's a proper last or like she's back to school, yeah, revising, going advising, over and over like, everything. Ooh, ooh, proper prepping yeah. Hard. Cause I wanted it and obviously with everything that had been going on in the year of us being under like, I just felt like this is perfect for security yeah, like yeah. we need some peace in this household like let's just mm -hmm. know that okay everything's flowing again like so now I'm literally basically waiting to have my interview and then Chum is obviously still at his new job and yeah it's now yeah. coming up to him about to finish uni yeah this is like coming up to September now cool so <laughs> this is probably one of the hardest the hardest points to well for me anyway because hmm. This, this this one was this one was a real try. So basically, guys, I was at this um this job I did that I got in June, and it was okay. Like I was doing what I needed to do, but it was literally one of those like part time. It's literally it was literally just twenty hours. Like it gave me rent money, but it didn't really do much else. So obviously, after I paid rent, we kind of had to lean back over to Anne. So like how we spoke about the imbalance that it was literally imbalanced. Like after I paid rent, we had to kind of rely on Anne's and salary to get us through the month in it. As I'm getting close to finishing uni, my first thought is I need a full-time job. So I'm now back to looking, but I don't think it was pressure on myself, but it was more just like, cool, like I'm secure, but let me kind of like really try and find something. But you know the ones where like, you're applying for so many jobs and you're getting so many replies, you know, saying, oh, unfortunately, blah, 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 or congratulations, you've made an interview, that sort of thing. So I was getting so many of those because I applied to so many jobs, but, <laughs> It still just pays me in here. Anyway, so I got a reply from a company saying, "Ah, oh, congratulations, um, my CV was good or whatever." And I just saying, "Ah, oh, um, would like you to like have a virtual interview." And because of lockdown as well, like there wasn't really much still, not even much. This wasn't any face-to-face -face interviews. All virtual. They send you like um, questions to answer, and you reply that sort of thing. So I filled out the questions, I gave my deals, etc and i just send it back off like mm. as normal and literally about two three days after they replied to me and said oh congratulations you passed the interview uh, you have been successful that offered me the role and i was and i was just thinking wait what was this for again because i literally did about quite a few um like questionnaires and interviews for for a while so i was thinking wait what was this role again i went down i searched it and and i, well, I scrolled down and i and i thought wait when did I reply for this role? I was, I was just confused at all. And when they sent me over the contract and I scrolled down and I saw the salary, I was thinking, <laughs> Mean, I got this, I got this job. <laughs> Guys, no word of a lie. 
I, I, I was like, hey! I was like, it's done. Finally. Security now, security, security is day. Is, I remember messaging Anna, I was so gassed. She was gassed, my family was gassed. Everybody was gassed. It was just pure was, gas. Yeah. It was pure gas. Like, it was. Honestly. I remember like that, that day as well. Yeah. I mean, I need to go to the city. I was just, I, I was even walking to me, and she yeah. just said, I had a little different type of step that yeah. day. I was just walking like, mm. you know, I was just, <laughs> guys, literally like that day, I finished work, and then we were gonna go into the city setup. <laughs> and he met me, <laughs> he met me halfway basically. And the way he was walking, I was telling him, you have a new step of money. You're not walking in money like, I just feel job, like, I just felt like the, the weight was gone, you know what I'm trying to say? I just, I just, I just felt free, you know? Yeah, all the stress, all the, everything was gone. Mm. I just felt good, like, yeah. like, because obviously all the, like, the stress and like, all the other jobs that I, I unfortunately lost, like being unemployed so many times, I thought, bro, not only I'm employed, I've got this money, like, this money is good, like, you know them jobs where you see suddenly you think, uh, let me can manage, yeah, can manage. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say, yeah. like, like you, you just apply for it because the salary just come. So they said to me, um, to send over a few more DLs to, so they can like get me ready to have like my HR induction, isn't it? And they said the HR induction would be on Sunday, oh no, on a Thursday, and I was working, so I got them to move it, but they moved it to Sunday, and it was that I thought it was a bit strange, isn't it? But they seemed deserved, they wanted it on Sunday, like, there was no issue, like, mm. even though it was a Monday, the Friday job, they wanted it on Sunday, so I thought, cool, calm. So, the weekend came, and I hadn't, like, got, like, an email, or, like, what the details for, like, the Zoom meeting to have with the yeah. HR person. Yeah. So I was thinking, like, strange, like, where, where is it, like? So, I sent another email, didn't get a reply, but I was thinking, maybe, like, on the day or on Sunday, they'll probably call me, give me the details, that sort of thing. Yeah. Someday, come now. Nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking. Strange. Like yeah. I send the email again, thinking like, hello guys, I was going on like, yeah. like <laughs> nothing like Monday comes now, I'm thinking like cool like what's going on like what going like oh and Monday you're officially like ready to start the job. The yeah. job will start on Monday. So he's yeah. handed in his notice. I handed him my notice. Handed like, in the notice. I got cause I got the contract, I signed the contract, everything like this one felt secure secure, like everything was ready to roll, roll everything was ready to roll. But I haven't heard a word. Comes to now, I think it was Tuesday now, and it's now like me and I was like, what the hell is going on? Now I think you're what like you're meant to start work on Monday. Yeah. I've not heard anything, anything from anyone. What's going on? Sorry. So I'm not starting to sweat. I'm like, I'm just starting to breathe a bit heavy now. You know the ones where. You, you, you're not telling yourself that it's like anything bad, did it? But you just do a little bit of research, just a little bit of, let me just do a quick search, let me just do, search them up, that sort of thing, innit? Even though you had already And been. I did, because they had a website, look at the website, all looked legit. Yeah. So we did a search, search, and we couldn't see anything. And for a while, I was thinking, what's going on? But I don't know, Sai was telling me to search like science specific, like sign that we haven't searched yet. Yeah. I just typed in a company's name, Indeed, and Scam, and there's certain things, innit? And then I scrolled and I just saw a certain, a certain links. I just saw a certain word. I was thinking, I recognize that word. I click it now. And then someone in like a forum said, Oh, if you get like reached out by this company, if you get contact with these people, it's a scam, etc. They'll make you do a DBS check and they'll charge you, take your details and take the payment, etc. I was thinking, I don't know how me, Chem, that's done DBS how many times, guys. <laughs> So, when they reached out to me and said I got the offer, etc., they want me to do a DBS check. And I think it was just me being like going through an unemployment so many times within such a short amount of time, and I just wanted a job so much. I was blinded by the like prospects of having a yeah, good security. job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I just let so many red flags pass me. So, I did a DBS check now, but the DBS check it costs money. Guys, DBS check do not oh, cost free. money. Free DBS. It's free, guys. The job guys. funds it, but they asked me. But they said you'll be reimbursed. That's what it was. Yeah, they yeah, said yeah, yeah. Reimbursed but, for it. But that's not the but case, that's guys. Not what because the company sends the DBS um, request for Internally, you. Internally, yeah. They send it for you, and then you, you get the letter. It, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? I don't know why I just saw, oh DBS website cool. Let me fill out my details and send it off, guys. I've never had to, I've done like five in my life. I've never had to do it once. But I didn't see the red flag. Yeah. 
Cool. As soon as I saw that, guys, and the website was exactly the same. As soon as I saw that, guys, I just, I promise you that that was probably one of my lowest points of the year because. I remember saying to Anne, I just remember just laughing and giving Anne the food. And I just heard her, heard her do her like sigh, which like, and I was just laughing there. <laughs> I was just laughing. I remember, I just, this, uh, I remember I called my sister and I'm just telling her, like, like it's a scam. Like, it's, it was a scam. It, it, was, a... it was fake. Like, it, was, <laughs> it happened again, basically. I, uh, uh, like, opportunity to finally have security. Scam. I think I was laughing because I was I just I just I, I always had to laugh at how many times I just had to take it out. Yeah. Like the, the, I, how many else do I have to take? How many? I was I was just find it so funny. Like yeah. I just couldn't I couldn't believe it. Let's be real. I was like whatever man I, I was scammed. <laughs> whatever yeah, man. That sort of thing. But honestly, I don't know what it was mm -hmm. because literally a minute into the call. I just I blacked and I just I, I just dashed my phone now I, I just started crying I, I I I think it was just because of how much all of like the last six to eight months took from me during my degree as well like, it made my degree so hard all the um, unemployment I had to face all the all of the the days the weeks the months implying getting rejections mm -hmm. thinking that I'm finally gonna get a sign and then it goes oh no not anymore yeah. like it just got so it got it just kind of all came to me at once I just I remember I just dashed I'm lucky my phone didn't break I just you threw it against the, the door and oh guys man yeah and I, I had a proper mental breakdown I was low it was it was bad and the thing it is Chem holds himself like he's a very strong person in general like he has a very positive outlook on life in general mm. so he's very positive so during everything that was happening to him he was still positive like, he was yeah. still, as much as i knew he didn't have it in him to like keep applying for jobs or yeah. i knew that he was trying his hardest like yeah. and he was just still being put me after that first one <laughs> i would have been like please, please please clearly i'm not meant to work i'm staying here <laughs> <laughs> clearly i'm not meant to work right? clearly, please clearly. and that was a lot for him because guys this job that he had just got the part-time one mm -hmm. first of all he could have still been um, yeah. full-time in that once yeah. he finished uni anyway yeah. but obviously it was a thing where it still was like a situation of mine like after uni he just didn't really want to do that job basically yeah. and it was one of those ones where like i wouldn't have just left it yeah, i only yeah. left it for another job and yeah. i did and he did <sighs> That, the annoying thing with this, what really broke me or for him as well was the fact that this was the first job that was permanent yeah. and it was secure. The job yeah. that he now left for the scam job. And then he literally handed in his notice. It was so crazy because it's like, yeah. scam. Who scam. even knew you could get scammed on job sites? Who like, knew, guys? What? Like, and that's actually wicked. Like Someone's trying to better themselves or get a bad situation and you're not even trying to kick them down more. Yeah, that Dude. is so cool. That's Dude. such a... Like, imagine someone trying to get a job. Like imagine. You're trying to get a job and someone's even scamming you out of that. Like That is crazy. So obviously what they were trying to do was get his like, national insurance number, all probably claim some sort of self-tax or whatever. All those things. All them man. details that obviously had like bank details, his address, yeah. all yeah. of that. We both never knew that you could get scammed on Indeed. But obviously yeah. I think after the pandemic it's increased because people know how much like how many people are looking for jobs which yeah. is even more mad like it's a pandemic it's people a are looking pandemic. for jobs people Literally. don't have jobs like um, what we were so happy about is that our family yeah. like they're so supportive so yeah. during this whole time that we're struggling there was never a time we didn't have our rent paid yeah. whenever our family helped us we sorted it out we always like we had food in our fridge all the time we had our no repeats. matter what we did we had we found a way to just get by yeah. you know what i'm trying to say Literally. and imagine guys throughout the year we're getting by get by stressing here we're still trying to make content like it was hard it was hard it was hard honestly pouring up content is that's like that's our escapism literally, like literally. That, that is the one thing that was making us happy literally, literally. Like, like when we when we record vlogs when we do all those sorts of things it just it, it's basically like allowing us to forget that they're, they're, they're at home, everything's not okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are family, so yeah. it's like when we pour out content, you guys show us love, we speak yeah. to you in comments and stuff. It just feel like we felt happiness basically. Yeah, yeah. And then now we're at home just chilling, it's like, try. Try. This life. This life. So obviously, after the job chem scam, I still mm. have my interview that's coming up. Mm. So now it's like, girl, you gotta get this job. Yeah. Like, we have got to get this job yeah. now because. <laughs> This guy had just got scared, like what the hell? So my interview now comes, and my interview was on the 6th of October. 
which was actually exactly a month after our um after my graduation sorry had my interview and also sorry guys just to jump in as well so i don't know if you guys remember when my laptop literally just broke down on us this was august this is the yeah. time that he got scammed bro. Like, this is the same time so we're thinking sorry what laptop is now this Can is imagine? not the just, time uh, this is not the time like, like it was just too many things at once like imagine the thing we need to create to videos is now breaking down them our uh, jobs our uh, jobs are now breaking down ah, it's just, ah. everything was just around it just felt like nah this is too, too much, much now so luckily my laptop literally was fixed for free my laptop was literally meant to cost yeah. about nearly five six hundred pounds for fixing yeah. i don't know how they did it consumer something, something but something. that woman god bless her because bless she her. literally found a way for my laptop mm -hmm. to be fixed free of charge mm -hmm. but I'm now still <laughs> broken down again, but at this time when it's broken down, now my laptop's gone. Says now. I'm staying down. Yeah, I'm down. I'm staying, I'm staying down. down. It's not coming back. <laughs> yeah, so now my laptop's like just done, done. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's why we now haven't also yeah. like been able to get a video that because we just aren't done. able to. And it's, yeah. yeah, and it's really and it's just been uh, killing us because it's like. The one thing I'll hold also you do. One thing that we have so much to show you guys. Damn, we've still been vlogging, guys. Do not worry. We've been yeah. vlogging. We've been making sure, even though we can't get out, we're going to make sure that when you're not missing anything. Yeah, like, yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah, so back to my interview. So I had my interview this time, guys. <laughs> I did it. I knew I did it. After I finished that interview, I was like, yeah, yeah, I did that. I 100% mm -hmm. knew that. Now, mm -hmm. I'm done. This time, mm -hmm. I felt confident. Yeah. I felt. I just felt a different vim, like yeah, I just yeah. felt like, yeah, no, yeah. I'm hundred percent have done this. Yeah. But I was thinking, what if I have done this? Like, damn, like this was a higher salary, like, yeah. damn, like if I have, <laughs> like, damn. So I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. My birthday comes, blah blah, blah. and then literally the, the day, day after, after my yeah. birthday, yeah. that's when I got. So the 25th of October, yeah, that's when I now got my response. So I passed the interview, guys. So I was like, oh my yeah. gosh, yes, yeah. confirmed. Yeah scrolling into the into, into the email now and then i see oh but unfortunately we're gonna have to replace you on a reserve list until a role becomes available something like that i something. didn't even understand all i saw is a pass and reserve list in the same sentence i'm thinking huh mm -hmm. like guys when i'm told me she said the most like the most like left or right message ever she said like i'm gonna cry i didn't know cry happy, cry yeah, sad, like yeah. anymore and this she, I don't know either because what does that even mean? What does that even mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Guys, I didn't know whether I wanted to cry of happiness, like oh my god, I passed the interview, or cry of like, okay, but I'm on a reserve list. So just to put it into perspective, that reserve list basically means that, I don't even know what it means till this day really, it's like the role, they, they can't place you in the role yeah, yet. Yeah. So I feel like it's a moment it's that between time it's probably what what mm. Chem had during that time when we were waiting for his official start date yeah it's like this like floating area you yeah. have yeah for some reason i don't know why they do that but anyway so yeah they said that i'm going to be on a reserve list and that reserve list it could take anywhere between the 25th of october 2021 mm. to 25th of october 2022 so a full year you could be on that list mm. and you have to wait for a role to be available to you then you officially get the job guys i was so upset mm -hmm. i was so so upset like what the hell so now i've actually passed the interview do i be happy or not Literally. because it's like what do i do with that because if it is really like i don't know how long it could take me yeah. to officially yeah, get the right, job right. so i'm thinking what do i do now do i just keep applying for a job because this is the job i really wanted i literally basically got it but not got it yeah so it's like what do i actually do here like yeah. what do i do i was so confused so lost so upset again like I never knew, imagine after you do an interview, you just think like, it's yes or no. Literally. This was yes, no, maybe. No, yes, this was just maybe. maybe. Yeah, just maybe. yeah. <laughs> I was just in the maybe zone. And it's yeah. like, what the hour? Oh, guys, honestly, I was thinking, bye. This is after Chem scam. I'm thinking, bro, like, I don't have time for this. Like, we need something happening now. Like, mm -hmm. there is no time for this right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically now, I'm just stuck, like I'm just over it. I'm just yeah. like, you know what? I'm staying in this job. The job yeah. that I will come because all this time I've obviously been in the job, but yeah. I wanted to leave. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, please, I'm staying in this job. I can't be asked. Like, yeah. I, I'm, I'm tired. Let's just yeah. let's just focus on Chem right now. Basically, like, forget it. <laughs> Chem actually said to me that he was also trying to be positive. Yeah. Like, you know, Chem is my rock. Like, <laughs> so he's also trying to keep me okay. positive. In my own pit, I'm trying to make sure she doesn't fall into her own pit. Yeah, so, yeah. like. <laughs> 
So literally, so yeah. he's trying to keep me, um, like, make me stay positive, like saying, yeah. like, you never know, like, it could literally be next week they could yeah, get back to you. They've said anywhere. Days. Yeah, like, you never know. And I'm like, okay, well, why would it be that? Yeah. Like, I was like, I'm negative Nancy, like, me, I'm just like, please, that's not, that's very, like, what are the odds of that? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so then now, I'm just now, like, over it, type of thing, like, yeah, it is what it is, like, if it comes, it comes. Yeah. So I'll do research now, and I found out I could find out what place I am on the list. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, let me find out what le- like what place I'm on. So I emailed the HR department mm. and then they basically emailed me back like, I can com- confirm that as of today's date, you are at position 115 mm. of 118 candidates on the reserve list. I said, God, I said, huh? Jumbo, I, I don't even... <laughs> Guys, I remember nah, I came, nah, I was in the bedroom nah. or something. I, I showed it to Chem. She I placed my phone. I look. I didn't say anything like Chem. Imagine. I just placed the email. Yeah, I just had the email that placed it on his. I went back into that room. I just. I was ready to sleep it off. Mm-hmm. I said, I'm not even going to stress right she now. I said the whole day written off. See tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Done, yeah. Done, like done. with me, when I have issues or I'm not in the mood, I'm going to bed, and yeah. then we'll deal with it when I wake up. Like I was so like sorry, what? <laughs> nah, it was. I can't <laughs> lie. I I completely get it because. Cool, reserve is cool. See what place you want to see that there's 114 people ahead of you. Just like all the people have to get a job before I can just... for me to get guys are over 100 people to get a job before me. Can you imagine? But as Anne dropped it, literally, 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 as she walked away, another email came on her phone. I saw it and I read it because it was from the same, the same email and it said, uh, Please excuse all this. Uh, read it for them. Guys, we're reading it pure and fresh. Right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, guys, it was serious, man. The email says, please disregard previous email. I can confirm as of today's date, your position 37. 37 oh, of 118. Geez. Which obviously, it, it is still quite a few people in front of you, but that's better than 140. Oh, yeah. That's still like in a top bracket ish, you know what I'm yeah, trying to say? Like, so it's still way more hopeful than, than that. Yeah, 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 exactly. So obviously, I'm still thinking, oh, 30. But after, if I heard 31st, I would have been thinking, oh. Yeah. But because I heard 100. <laughs> First, I'm yeah. thinking, okay, this is much better, and I'm thinking, thank you, God, because mm-hmm. I really was about to lose it. Yeah. When Chad was calling me back, I was he was literally calling me to come out of bed. You're like, bro, like they've sent you, like they've sent another email saying yeah. to disregard. I was, I'm just thinking, please take your positive <laughs> self <laughs> away from me. <laughs> she was not trying to hear it. I tried to tell her they said nothing. She was not trying I to hear it. I thought he was it. joking. I thought that he wanted to get me out of the room because he knew that I was just done. Like yeah. I was like clocked out for the day. Yeah. So I thought he was trying to just like uplift me or something by telling me, "Oh, look, look, look." Mm-hmm. I was thinking, "There's no time for jokes or games. Like this is my life." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then I come and see the email. I was like, "Oh, mm-hmm. okay." Oh, that was the place I was at now. But me now. So obviously this was, again like i said one of my lowest times of the year like i was yeah. just mentally done like yeah. i was applying but it was just one of the applies that like, yeah apply yeah yeah, apply, yeah. Apply. like it was getting i can't lie it was getting really bad for me I, it was yeah. getting really bad for me yeah this came to a point where it i i, I actually i, I want to say i gave up because i don't want to say that but I, I my motivation was basically I, if it wasn't zero it was one percent yeah, like, yeah it was just that's what it was mm. So I was applying now and I remember a recruiter reached out to me for a company mm-hmm. saying, Oh, your CV looks good, um, we think it'll be good for this role. And I was like, oh, yeah, whatever, me applying. You know. Yeah. That sort of thing, innit? Yeah. I applied now, I complete this test, it will pass the test, we'll get you to interview. Cool. So I passed the test and they put me in for interview. I was thinking, okay. And this company is is is, is like it's, it's it's a legit company. Like every and from that scam, I trust me. Every job that came to me, I did research. I did research like I was back at school. I made sure that they were not no fake company. Nothing. I made sure they were a PLC, LLC, LMNOP. I was making sure they were not gonna give me again. Yeah. So, um, this one's obviously a legit company, um, and the, my hope was starting to come back. Yeah. But then out of nowhere, literally out of the blue, I get an email from another company saying, "Oh, 
um, please book in for your interview because I passed the, the preliminary stage. Just book in. Who's this? I don't know for a list. When I deep, when I want to email, deep to yourself again. Wait, I know. Is this? Is what I think it is. Like, this is a legit company, but I'm remembering the role and the salary. I'm thinking, so this is confirmed legit. Like, this is a proper legit place. Yeah. And I'm remembering, wait, this is a proper, like, serious job. Yeah. So I'm saying, wait, come on. I might have to like bust this interview like, <laughs> like, like I started my confidence was coming. I'm thinking, wait, bro, like if I get this, then I've got this. That's yeah, what I was saying. Yeah. Cool. So then now, I remember then another job came to me, um, uh, telling me that I had an interview. So literally, I remember I literally remember it so well because the week before, like Anna would tell you, I was in one of my lowest points. Like Anna was at work and that, like she's let's say she's on her break and we'll just still talk on the phone. She could just hear my voice like. Uh, I was in a dark place. Like, this, yeah. I just wasn't believing that like, anything would change, innit? Mm-hmm. And she was just telling, trying to tell us, just trying to pick me up, tell me, like, it's okay, like, something's gonna change. Yeah. Literally, four, five, six days later, I just counted in my hand, wait, I have three interviews for some serious companies. Mm-hmm. But I found the one now, that one where I was like, whoa, this is a big boy team. That interview was difficult, but. I, I, I same like I've done before. I made sure I went over all the notes, all of that. I just I, I said I want this one. Like yeah. like I got the other two secure, but I want the third one. Yeah. Like I've had a tough year, but I'm gonna push for the third one. Yeah. Cool. I had the interview. I remember. I think the second or third interviews were literally two days apart as well. Yeah, it was mad. Yeah. And when I actually sat down and deep, like I said to Anna, like, bro, wait. Wait, hold on. I got three serious jobs in the palm of my hand that I can actually get here. Yeah. And I was really deep in that. Like, God, you're actually about to change my situation. And it and how we've even been saying as well of how like everything that we've gone through has been side by side and imbalanced. Like we've just been going through it together. God really made this ending part together. Together. <laughs> like the way we said, we kept going up, down, up, down. We just aligned mm-hmm. after, like it was mad. Yeah. Cool. So now I li- I literally remember because I, I was just waiting, I waited. I was just playing. Please, like, give me something because weeks started to go by. I literally remember I, my phone started ringing. I forget. I don't know his number. Like, oh, who's this? Like, I pick it up and then they say, oh, hi, is this chum? Yeah, etc. etc. Or like to offer you the role. This was the third job, guys. I was thinking, God, you're wonderful. <laughs> Honestly. Ah, I'll just smile and say thank you. Oh yeah, I accept. Yep, I dropped the phone, and I'm just saying, yeah, I'm just screaming, yes. saying, oh guys, oh. It, man. <laughs> but the funniest thing, guys, like I said, God just aligned everything. Mm-hmm. So my situation just changed that week, and go on tell them what's happening. So you week. got this was the first of November actually. Yeah, the first uh, November. Was it the same day? No, mine was the second of November. Oh, second. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first of November was when I found out about my reserve list. Mm-hmm. Second of November was when you got your job offer for mm-hmm. it. It's good, good job. Mm-hmm. So guys, so basically this is now the sixth of November. So the same week, the first week of November still. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is a Saturday, I believe. Yeah. And I wake up, go on my phone. And then I see an email. Mm-hmm. So I'm seeing congratulations on conditional off. I said, mm-hmm. then I come and see. I'm like, this is the job. Like this is the job that they just told me last. Not even last. Not week, even last week. Same four week. Four days Same ago. Week. Five days. Mm-hmm. Four or five days ago that I'm position thirty seven mm-hmm. on the reserve list. Mm-hmm. What do you mean you were offering me the job in the yes. same week? Like what do you mean? Mm-hmm. So what? Everybody's got a job now. Like what? What? Like what? What happens? It doesn't matter what happens. It's and Cham, now. literally, and remember, Cham that she said they could literally offer it to you. What if it's next week? <laughs> and the craziest thing, like, I was already saying that I believed it, but I was saying it because, like, you never know. You never know. Guys, it legit happened. Yeah. It legit happened. It happened. Oh my days. It was mad. Like, oh, guys, man. they literally offered me the role, and I was like, like mm-hmm. i was so so shocked yeah. like it was it was just so shocking like, mm-hmm. obviously everything was conditional because obviously you have to go through some intense mm-hmm. pre-employment checks yeah so all of, but obviously i knew like i'm not the criminal now so yeah <laughs> I, I knew that all of that was gonna go through but yeah. in that time that was yeah. just a conditional offer yeah but, but um, still like yeah it was mad guys right. like so in the same week, same week. everything just changed for our Imagine, households everything. everything it's hard to describe how we both just looked at each other saying, wow. wow. Honestly, and it's so funny because these jobs, when we first came across them, 
Like we were thinking, imagine if we actually got these chops. No, no. Like no. we were thinking if we both like got yeah. these yeah. two. Because out of all the applying we did yeah. day and night, yeah. these two stuck out to us, like yeah. these particular roles. Yeah. So it was just like, imagine if we actually both got this, like, imagine. wow. I remember when Joey said, imagine if we actually both got this, like, this yeah. this. guys, me, we <laughs> 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 Guys, crazy, it was man. crazy, like crazy. so so mad. You, I can't even believe it. Like, mm -hmm. it's been so crazy. Yeah. So anyway, so now we've, we both are now on the same mm -hmm. wavelength. Same, same. same. We've got Bye the job you. offers. Bye now Bye we're both you. doing pre-employment checks, mm -hmm. and now we're just waiting for a start date. Like we yeah. know we're obviously gonna get it. So wait for a start date. I actually got my start date on the sixth of December. Yeah. Which was mad as well because yeah. every day was a sixth. Like yeah. sixth of September, obviously I graduated. Sixth of October I had my interview. Sixth of November, ha what did I have? Sixth of November I had my offer, mm -hmm. and then sixth of December I got my official start date. Yeah. My official formal offer. Yeah. So yeah, it was crazy. It's crazy, but like you said, you got to have to make a side by side, guys. Two days later, I get my start date. Imagine. Literally two days later, he gets his start date. Could have been the week before we got forgot said, or the same week. The same week again. Yeah, mm. yeah, literally. But yeah, so guys, like that is the situation. This has been like a whole testimony, a literally, whole journey uh, of resilience, journey of faith. Faith. Because the way our faith was tested, it's unreal. Wow. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. There's a lot of times I just, I, I want to say I stopped believing, but I just stopped thinking that anything would change. Like, yeah. Because there were just too many things that kept going wrong. But yeah. It's well, just mad. It's just mad how it worked out, and it's yeah. just crazy because it all ended at the same time, like yeah. the end of the year. Now we have a fresh start, like yeah. starting the new year. Like I'll start later, obviously, in the new year, yeah. and just start with a fresh start because yeah. last year was a lot. Like it was too much. It was just too much. Imagine, guys, through the Valentine, the anniversary, it's all birthday, the vlogs, everything. her birthday. We're going through hard times mm -hmm. and we just were able to push through it like for the first year in manchester officially was unbelievably hard it but was. i feel like it needed to be hard for us to really say cool we can get through anything yeah yeah, yeah. there's a whole different foundation in our relationship now like mm -hmm. we're so strong together yeah. like even just for me as a guy like obviously as a guy not not having money or just not normally being able to have money in a relationship is always difficult you know, no matter like how secure your girlfriend may make you feel just naturally as a guy you don't want to be like feel like to drag your girl down but for all this and just continue to help me help me mentally just push through like those dark times like mm -hmm. like you like yeah she helped me so much and just yeah thank you but mm -hmm. for real like it's just it's just mad how like much growth last year gave us guys that was a story like that was our story that time our story testimony <laughs> Obviously, we have we still create our memories, Valentine's mm -hmm. Day, anniversary, and any other little things that we yeah. do together. Like we still had our small times of happiness, mm. but it was just those the the badness basically outweighed the yeah. good times last yeah. year. Like, we're just ready for this year, like yeah. this year, like it's oh god, I'm just, I'm excited, man. Honestly, I'm excited, we're so man. excited. 2022 for us is definitely about a lot of enjoyment. Yes. Because we had to not we had, enjoyment was on hold for a yes. long time for us. Like mm -hmm. we had our little moments where we did mm -hmm. enjoy last year, mm -hmm. just a few. Just a few. But this year, January to December enjoyment. enjoyment. See, we're just so happy that you guys are gonna be able to see the journey. But we just mm -hmm. felt like we had to be very transparent yeah. on everything that went through. We couldn't just come back like hey. No, no we couldn't just come <laughs> back and like nothing's nothing, nothing's happened, nothing's yeah. changed. We haven't sat down with guys a long time to really yeah. open up. So. Yeah had to yeah, yeah as always guys mm -hmm. we thank you so 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 much for yeah. watching this video for supporting us through our absence as well yes. just all the love you gave us throughout last year it just yeah. meant so much to us but we cannot wait just to give you guys videos content just interact with you guys because you guys you guys make all this worthwhile you make it yeah. fun for us so oh can't wait for this year man Honestly, it's gonna be a big like, year for the ac year. fam but as always guys <clears throat> thank you for watching it's yeah. Anna and chem you know what to do like comment and subscribe guys that's right guys we love you guys so much we'll Honestly. see you in the next video bye yeah.